Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about um, the new update of the Cavalier difficulty and their rewards. So, I've only seen one YouTube video on it, and I think there's some Rich the Man, because um, that was the first one I saw. And you're saying like the rewards are kind of shit and not what you expected. Note them, and honestly, they are basically to a T what I expected. And I'm not disappointed, actually. I don't know why he made it seem like it's a lot worse than it actually is. And we're gonna go over it really quickly. I'm just gonna show you. Where is it? So, Cavalier difficulty, intention. For a backstory in this new difficulty level, the intention is I want to expect, look back at our dev diary or whatever. As a reminder, the Cavalier event quest difficulty will be available to those that have achieved the Cavalier title. But that does not mean that once you've reached the Cavalier title, exploring even completing it will be a breeze. We are building an easy path in each quest so that any Cavalier player can attempt to obtain the completion awards without a super wide roster. This completion award to help develop your roster, helping you rank up your five star champions to rank five. This I like. I like the fact that they're making it so people who are cavalier just got it. Um, there's gonna be one like discrete path that's gonna be super easy for them to get their awards. I like that. Once your roster is more expansive and your skill is sharper, um, you'll be able to challenge yourself uh, by attempting the exploration. Exploring the cavalier difficulty will require either a fair amount of skill, a wide range ranked of champions, or a lot of power. They mean units by that. Reward structure. The reward distribution of Calvary, ta Cavalier difficulty is dra drastically different from other event quest difficulties. There are no act completion awards. Instead, there are awards for chapter completion and exploration of the focus. Um, there are no act completion rewards. Um, I think completion and exploration are always what it's been. I don't know what they mean by that. But, I don't know, maybe I'm just stupid. This way, summoners that cannot compete or explore the entire event quest should focus on exploring only one chapter at a time. We've also placed many rewards on pass. So those who are having trouble with increased difficulty can target and strive for the rewards they need most. That's cool. Exploration is still where the best rewards will be found. And summoners should focus on exploring one chapter ugh, over completing the entire event quest. Focus on exploring one ch Okay, so they, I guess they changed it. Or maybe there's like shit on the path, like rewards on this. So maybe, because they said exploring one chapter is better than completion rewards. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see what's on the path. Maybe there's more that they're not showing. So, for look at the rewards. So people are complaining about these. And this is honestly what I was expecting. Literally, like yesterday, I was thinking about this. I was thinking, what would the rewards be? And I said... I think it would be good, bare minimum, at least to have 5,000 six star shards and like a 10% tier 5 CC crystal. And would you look at that? <laughs> the six star shards, 5,000, 10% fragment crystal. I got it right. But I was looking at this, they got more stuff. So completion is really nothing for six stars. Um, I'm pretty sure uncollected. No, I guess not, yeah. I guess not. Um, so yeah, you got 5,000 six star shards. The five star shards together are 15,000. You get like uh, almost a third of a tier two alpha. I really don't care. I have like, I've had like 10 tier two alphas in overflow for the past like eight months. I can't upgrade enough champions. I already have everyone I need. Eight um, time, eight five star signature stone generic. Uh, 75,000 gold and three tier five ISO of each class. That's like, if you put it in the right champion, that's like 22,500 ISO, which is like one level, not even on a six star. So I really don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what that was. It's cool, I guess, but maybe more would be very nice. For exploration of all three chapters, you get the 5,000 six star shards, like I said, and then we'll add it with this, you get 15,000. You get more T2A, like a little bit over one. One tier ten, uh, ten uh, percent tier five CC fragment crystal. What they should have done with this is they should have made it a selector, not just a, a crystal. But that's just me. I don't. I, I'm still happy that they added it. Nonetheless, I had a feeling they were gonna add at least that. It, I had a feeling they were either gonna add this or selector. I knew they wouldn't add twenty five percent because that's too much. And then this plus this is I think almost a tier five basic. No, no, it's not. This plus this, I think, is almost a third of a tier 5 basic, so that's cool, I guess. 10 6-star signature stone crystals. So these are, like, very, I don't want to say useless, but if you open them, you're going to get one or two of each class. 
and in 12 months, in a full year, you're gonna get like 13 to 14 of each class. Uh, from any, you're gonna get anywhere from like 12 to 24 of each class in a full year. So, uh, I don't know, that seems like very like nothing. Some gold, um, so this plus this is literally not even 500,000 gold. So I think the gold probably should be increased because gold is very hard to get. 12 times five star signature stones, classic, I mean generic. So in total you got 20 generic five star six stones. That would have been cool about a year ago, but right now I don't think any five star can, well, some five stars can increase to my prestige, but it would be such a small amount because I already have two rank three six stars that I'm just gonna wait until I get another rank three six star. So, I don't know, that just didn't seem very useful. It's gonna be very useful for newer players though. That like just got Cavalier, I'll tell you that for sure. And then two times tier six ISO of each class. Um, I don't believe we have tier six ISO, and if we do, I think it's like 10,000 or something. I think tier six generic is like 10,000. But then again, tier five generic is like 3,000 and class is like 5,000. So maybe the class is like 15,000. So if you get two of each and say it's like 10 to 15,000, if you put the it in the right class, I think it's like a 50% bonus. So you could be seeing like 22,000 or 15,000 ISO from one ISO, but then there's gonna be two of them so you're gonna be seeing anything in the range from 30,000 to like 45,000 ISO, and which is like one and a half level of a six star. So, I don't know, once you get the ISO, it's just very small. Ranking up six stars is very hard. So yeah, but these rewards aren't bad, honestly. I don't know why people are so mad. The only thing I can see people being annoyed about is that if this isn't a selector. I think this should be a selector, but everything else looks fine to me, I mean. I really don't know what else, I mean, it's fine. I think just more gold, and maybe make these generic, just because even 10 generics every month, that's in a full year, you'll be able to get a character sick 120 in a full year, dude. By that point, we're gonna have like fucking nine stars and shit like that, so I don't know, but whatever. Or if you're gonna do stone crystals instead of generic, they should do 20, but that's just my opinion. The rewards aren't that bad. But, yeah, one thing to remember is... Wait, what does it say? Yeah, this is what it, one thing to remember. People are complaining about the words. But remember, there's also going to be a legendary side event every month. So you're going to get probably more tier 5 CC and probably more 6 star shards. So people need to fucking relax, okay? They're like fucking raising pitchforks. We're already getting guaranteed 5,000 6 star shards and 10% of a tier 5 CC. Just that alone. Not even factoring all this other shit in. The side event... It's so gonna be even more. The side event for this month, I think if you did the Cavalier difficulty, you get like you got a full six star, I believe. So that's already fifteen thousand shards, six star shards in a month. So the rewards are fine, and that's not and it's not that's not the only thing they add. We also got like three five stars plus this. So this month, um, if it had this also, you would have been got uh you'd have gotten what um fifteen thousand six star shards. And like 45,000 six star shards, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, people need to just relax, okay? The rewards aren't bad with the side event, also. And you're gonna tier 5 CC. And the side event's gonna give more tier 2 alpha, more gold, more tier 5 basic, all the other shit. More signature stones. So, just relax. The rewards are fine, okay? I, if it was just this, I would say maybe not. But there's gonna be a legendary side event every month with the main event. So the rewards together are going to be fine, okay? And then also, another thing they added that I saw people complaining about was this. A special objective. Each month we'll be adding a special objective to Cavalier difficulty. I like that idea. This ultra difficult objective will test your skill as a summoner. But if you can achieve it, it'll reward you with another 10% tier 5 CZ fragment crystal that is very good that's 20 percent of a tier 5 cc every month that is very good for this first iteration the, the objective is to defeat one path of every quest in the um event quest with only a team of four star champions or lower this can be a path that you've already completed 
October's event quest will feature a different objective. So prepare to so be sure to prepare yourself for a new challenge. So for this month, September, you're gonna be doing the entire event quest. I, I don't know if it's just the cavalier difficulty or like for every difficulty. I'm assuming it's just for the cavalier difficulty. Six quests, and in six quests you have to use a team of four stars or lower. But it's basically four stars. Okay, so I heard people complaining about that. Like that's gonna be so like ridiculously hard we have to rank up four stars and i'm like dude just relax first of all ranking up four stars barely takes anything anymore the only thing i could say that it's kind of annoying is it takes away t1 alpha and tier 4 cc but we're getting more of that too so relax also you should have at least a few maxed out decent four stars from when you first started playing the game or you could just rank one up. It's not that difficult. And I saw people complaining like crazy. Like, it's going to be so hard. I'm like, dude, you don't have to do it. This, You don't have to do this. This is an objective. This is just for people who want to do extra rewards. If you if it's such a big deal and you're crying about how hard it is, then just don't fucking do it because no one really cares. For me, I'm going to do it. It's going to be a fun challenge. I haven't used four stars in a while. It's going to be cool um, giving them some use again because they're just sitting on the fucking bench using an arena every few days. I mean... I, I, find, I think it's going to be good. And for 10% of a tier 5 CC, I think it's going to be hard. Don't get me wrong. But, because the uncollected bosses with 4 stars already is... Not, not that super hard, but it's not like super easy also. It's like medium difficulty. And with this Cavalier, it's going to be a lot harder. With harder nodes. So, it's going to be a real challenge. And I'm excited for it. Um, you should be too. They're giving free good rewards as just an objective. Like, it's not like, it's not like in the actual, um, it's not like you have to do this to get all these rewards. This is just a bonus they're giving. It's just a bonus. It's free rewards. You don't have to do them. And people are so mad at Kabam. They're literally giving you guys free rewards. Like, relax. And then, so yeah, I'm excited for that. But then I saw this, and I saw Uncollected Rewards update. I thought this was going to be buffed a lot more. An update to Uncollected Rewards 2 is surprised to be sure, but a welcome one. Starting with the seventh class, we're giving uncollected difficulty rewards a bump. Um, so I was looking at this for a while, and I'm going to be honest. I don't know where the buff is. There's still seven thousand five hundred five star shards. There's um, how much T5 basic? It's still nine thousand. I think there was always nine thousand, if I am correct. 2-2 two, two alpha, there's a full 2-2 two, two alpha, I'm pretty sure you could always get there, or maybe not, maybe just more 2-2 two, two alpha. This I'm very happy about, 3 tier 4 CC crystals, because, actually 5 in total, because I, I think you get like 3 in like 90 or higher in AQ, and um, my alliance is like top 40 or something. So I haven't, so I used to be getting a shit ton of them. I used to have like 90 crystals just sitting in my thing. And now I have like 10 because we don't get them anymore. So they're, they're starting to go away a lot quicker. So tier 4 CC might start being my new like um, not fun thing. So I think that's above. That's good. The gold, I don't know if, what even that is. And then four star, I think that's the same or very close to the same amount. And then just some ISO. And then you also can get units for completion and exploration, which you used to not for some reason. So that's cool. It's a very small buff, but I think the only thing I really noticed, um, the only thing that actually stood out to me are these five tier four CC crystals, which is a very welcome buff. So thanks for that. But the big ticket items, like the five, six star shards, haven't changed at all. So, I mean, whatever. And then removing beginner difficulty, dude, I made a second account, and in, like, the first, like, hour, the beginning difficulty was already, like, getting run over. I don't even know, like, why that's even a thing. I, I want to know the statistic of how many people actually run this a month. Just curious. Uh, final event quest spotlight thread. Tomorrow we will post our last monthly event quest spotlight thread. Originally, the point of these threads was to inform players of the story coming their way and the rewards they could earn, which people were complaining about. These are started in a time where event quests weren't available every month and the rewards were always shifting. It was also a place for summoners to discuss troublesome fights in the quest to receive help. But those posts have found a life of their own as own threads have had a lot more visibility. Now we reveal the story of the upcoming month and our release notes and the rewards didn't don't change very often. Moving forward, we'll update you on 
all or any reward changes in their own announcements and will be keeping the titles and reward champion a surprise. Wait, we will be keeping the titles and reward champion a surprise. I mean, reward champion. Uh, the only thing I can think of is like the two stars you can get from like doing normal or like beginner or something. I don't know what that is. It's been a long road, but we're almost there. While we learned a lot from Canadian difficulty and Herald difficulty side events, this is still the first Cavalier difficulty of VenQuest. There's going to be space to shift and grow the same way the uncollected difficulty did. We look forward to experiencing this new challenge and can't wait to see you conquer whatever is thrown your way. So overall, I thought this was a very good post. People were very mad about the rewards. I thought the <laughs> this is a literally exactly for the last like two months. What I pinpoint accuracy. I wish I made a video on this because you guys can believe me. But this is literally exactly what I thought the rewards were going to be. Very similar at least. So, I don't know why people are complaining. It looks like, just from like this new objective and from this, you can get 20% of a tier 5 CC every month, which is very good. And if you do all the epic things in map 7 AQ, you can get 10% from the um, bonus nodes you put in them or whatever. So, more tier 5 CC eventually. Getting in my rank 3, 6 stars, a little bit more and more. I only have 2, but hopefully... In a few months, I can form a Cosmic for Corvus and stuff like that. And with all this new rewards going my way, it should be a lot easier. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Um, be honest. Like, I know people are complaining about the rewards. The rewards aren't that bad. I mean, if the rewards are bad in your mind, what would you want to see change? Because I'm curious. Because I can definitely see there maybe not being enough six stars. 5,000, still a good chunk. Plus, uncollected, is 7,500. You're getting a three-fourths of a six-star every month. Just from the event, but from the side event, you're gonna be getting more than a six star every month, so that's good. Um, you're in tier five CC. I, I can understand you wanting this to be a selector. That makes sense. Also, um, the gold's kind of shit. Can't blame me on that. But um, yeah, what do you want to see added? And um, yeah, just let me know. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.